Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So after the great feedback that I got on 10 hours of charging glories, I figured I'd give you guys another 10 hour video. So today I bring you loot from killing mithril dragons for 10 hours. My last mithril dragon video was December 7th, 2018, where I did kill 1000 of them. And I will say I didn't kill that many in this video, but luckily enough, we were able to get the dragon full helm during that video. So the goal for this one is very simple. Let's see a second one. The gear that I used for this video was a set of full bandos as well as a dragon hunter lance, which is a nice change of pace because in my last mithril dragon video I was using a Zamorak Hasta, which actually works pretty well here. But if you can afford the lance, definitely bring that. It's one of the best in slot ways to kill these things. I hear magic works good too, but you wouldn't want to spend all that money unless you're lucky enough to get the dragon full helm. These mithril dragons really don't provide the most expensive drops. Compared to other dragons in the game, these are really only known for the dragon full helm. Which you can actually get as a drop from just killing these mithril dragons. It is 1 in 32,768. But as most of you guys know, more of the dragon full helms in the game are just obtained from the chewed bones, which you can get from these mithril dragons, which is a 1 in 42 drop rate. And if you use those chewed bones to lay an ancient barbarian spirit to rest, you do have a 1 in 256 chance at that dragon full helm, which nowadays is at the highest I've ever seen it, a whopping 72.3 million G. It's really nice to see that price rising. It was stable for a long time at around 40, but I imagine just not a lot of people bringing dragon full helms into the game. Same can be said for the dragon kite shield, which is obtained from the Addy dragons. Moving on though, I will say the one thing I wish I would have done different for this video, actually two things. One would be not bringing a dragon dagger for a special attack weapon or dragon mace or crystal halberd. None of these weapons were effective. I think the only good special attack weapon here would probably be a Ceridoman godsword or a dragon warrior. Warhammer. The Warhammer is going to be good for lowering the defense. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to afford one, but if I was to bring one, I would have probably gotten a couple more kills an hour. Same can be said for me using a Dragon Fire Shield versus an Avernic Defender. I would have been hitting much more accurately if I was using a Defender, but instead I was just trying to tank a little more hits because these uh, Mithril Dragons do hit quite a bit. That's why every inventory I was bringing about 10 Sharks and 5 Karambwans. If I was lucky, I'd usually get about 9 to 12 kills depending on the RNG. And as you can see, I wasn't picking up all of the bars because had I been doing that I would be banking much more often and I just think I would get less kills an hour if I was doing that. So this was more of a gamble for the dragon full helm than it was for the exact efficient amount of what you can expect from these mithril dragons. Luckily though we have rune light so we'll see no matter what what the overall amount will be from these 10 hours. As you can see at this point we were one hour into this grind and I was averaging just about 50 kills an hour with this setup. Uh, gotta love that fighter hat that extra stab bonus one of the best stab bonuses in the game actually. Actually. And you can of course get that at Barbarian Assault as well as a Torso, which would be good here if you can't afford Bandos. And speaking of Barbarian Assault, I'm going to give a big shout out to Leech BA. You can find their Discord in the description below. Recently they helped me finish some diaries, which you guys will see in the next Road to Elijah video. And I did get level 5 all rolls. And they did it on the house, so that was super nice of them. So yeah, big shout out to those guys. If you want to check them out, they get you your diaries done, Torso, whatever you need. So I had some pretty good luck in the beginning of the video, 71 kills so far and three chewed bones three opportunities at that dragon full helm as you can see in the bank there's really not much uh, exciting drops going on so far there's a nice amount of blood runes though that is adding up and i suppose the rune bars and dragon javelin heads are good as well as it goes for the banking that max cape really did come in handy teleporting me directly to the crafting guild and i would just bank my whole inventory and then bring back three prayer potions and one super combat and super anti-fire i was not expecting to see any elite clue scrolls throughout this video but since it's it's only a 1 in 350 chance we were able to grab just one in this 10 hour grind and luckily we did see it pretty early on. I did do it right away so it took about 10 minutes out of the grind but I did save the casket for the end of the video in case we get something good from it. Not that many people talk about this in relation to the mithril dragon but it does drop the draconic visage which is 1 in 10,000 current price 2.4 mil. Obviously good to see on the ground but not the, not the most expensive these days so we'll stick to the dragon full helm for now. Now in order to reach the 
these mithril dragons, you do have to make your way to the ancient cavern, and the easiest way to get there is just teleporting directly to Otto's Grotto, and then running east, but if you don't want to do that, you can just teleport to Barbarian Assault, and run south, and you should be there within 10 seconds. For those of you who like Slayer, you can get this as a Slayer task for just 80 Slayer reward points, and just to access this ancient cavern, you do have to complete the first part of Barbarian Fire Making Training, and then talk to Otto about the Pyre Ships. After that, that whirlpool is yours, and you can start coming down here. There's really not much interesting going on in these caverns, though. I don't see too many people in here killing brutal green dragons or water fiends. I have done a water fiend video, and I find the drop table fascinating, but they're just not that worth it for most players, I'd imagine. As it goes for the brutal green dragons, something to explore in the future for sure, but I've already killed so many brutals in my life that I've never really gotten to them. There's one drop that does stand out compared to most dragons. The mithril dragon does offer the ancient page, which is untradeable. It was released in July of 2007. It's a 1 in 64 chance to receive it from a mithril dragon, and there are 26 different pages that can be found. And from what I see on the wiki, these ancient pages are needed for the book My Notes, which is given to you by Otto, and it's during the course of barbarian training. It can be stored in your bookcase if you have one in your player own house. I'm not too sure where it lies in relation to completionist things, but it is cool to see, I guess, 26 pages to collect down here. And you can always make some money at mithril dragons if you ever decide to go for these pages, so that's nice too. Coming up on 8 hours into the video, and and yes, the bank tab value is shown, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. A lot of that is in supplies as well, so the actual number will be price checked at the end. Chewed bones are looking good. We are coming up on eight, so it's like averaging one every hour so far, and that does make sense when you're averaging like 40 to 50 kills an hour here. One thing I forgot to mention is that you can bring carols here because these mithril dragons do have a magic range and melee based attack, but I found that in my last video using carols, it wasn't as exciting as all the DPS that you can get from using bandos. So I'd rather just pray melee and just use bandos instead of using carols and praying melee. But it's totally up to you as it goes for the gear. This mithril dragon was released in July of 2007 as well, and I gotta be honest with you, this dragon being in the game for 14 years now, I've never seen too many videos made on him. He's not really the most popular dragon, and it is unfortunate, but he's just very hard to kill. Hitting a 28 with melee, 18 with magic, 22 with range, and a 50 with dragon fire. So he's not the most AFK laid back monster, certainly nothing like a rune dragon. Luckily, though, he doesn't poison, so he does have that going for him. Well, here we are at the end. Loot from 10 hours of killing mithril dragons has been finished, has been completed. It took about three days for this one. I know that seems like a lot of time for 10 hours, but I've just been pretty busy in real life lately. On the upside, though, I was able to get two other videos done at the same time while doing this, so I was playing on three to four accounts the whole entire time while killing these myths, and luckily I didn't die once here, so that was great. Now is the time for the price check, and then we'll go ahead and use our nine chewed bones for that dragon full helm opportunity. The overall price check though, just coming out to be rounded up 4 mil flat, 400k an hour, probably about 400k spent on supplies, so I'd say a little less than that, but with the elite clue scroll, you can add another about 150k to the price check, so not terrible. I mean, you know, 400k an hour, at least you're gonna make some money. 4 mil is better than nothing, but the real question is are we going to get that dragon full helm? We are now going to be using all of the bones here with our magic logs, crystal axe, and tender box, laying these spirits to rest. Uh, you can avoid the KC number starting at 30 there. I think I've done much more than that, but it wasn't tracked entirely from the start. So far, no dragon full helm. I did try to speed this up a little bit for you guys, but nine opportunities, and I gotta be honest, I wasn't feeling that lucky. I know we didn't get the eternal glory from our last 10-hour video, so just maybe, if I am lucky enough now, I can avenge that and get something that is twice the price. 70 million GP. If we do see that, that means Mithril Dragons was 7 mil an hour, and that would be in Incredible. Two dragon full helms on one account. I don't think a lot of people can say that, so that would be a great accomplishment too. And I'll be honest with you, I really could use the GP for the Elijah series. So let's hope we see that dragon full helm, that red glow, pop up in the inventory very soon here. We only have three bones remaining. The second best thing that we can get from these chewed bones, other than the dragon full helm, is just a prayer mix too. Current price of that 4.8k, so let's really hope we hit the 70 million jackpot. We have one bone left here. Is this going to be the miracle that? we all wished for, that we all hoped for, changing this price check entirely. Not this time. That is very unfortunate, but 4 mil made in 10 hours. Overall, it was a pretty good experience, and I got a lot more videos coming for you guys. Thank you very much for watching, and better luck next time, and until then, Mr. No Sleep, out.